Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on Lenovo products. Now this week I was checking out Lenovo's ThinkPad E580, which is super affordable. Now this guy weighs around 4.7 pounds, is a solid laptop for programmers and light designing. So let's get down to the review. Like I mentioned before, the E580 is a solid, affordable laptop. So if we go inside the Lenovo site right now, and let's see how much it costs. So the starting price is $499, $500. That is pretty good. So if we go into view current models, the highest that you could get is $569. That is not that bad. So you're probably saying to yourself, what are you getting for under $800 laptop? So let's go inside the tech specs. And I'm assuming the more stuff you add to this machine, like if you get a better processor, the highest processor that you could get on this machine is an eighth generation i7-8550U processor with a clock speed of 1.80 gigahertz, right? If you add that, if you customize it, it's going to cost a little bit more money. So I would say around $800, under $800 laptop, which is not that bad. The lowest processor that you could get is a 7th generation i5. Uh, display, you got two types. You got the lower end, which is a 1366 by 768 anti-glare. And the one that I'm testing out right now is the 15.6 Full HD with the IPS anti-glare. Uh, with the low end one, you're definitely going to get the HD Graphics 620. If you do the full HD one, you're going to get the Ultra HD Graphics 620, which is pretty good. It does have a Type-C port, which is your power port, and it allows you to uh, hook up a 4K monitor, which I'm going to show you guys pretty soon. The battery life, it says up to 13 hours, but I'm going to prove that wrong when I go over the battery stats. The camera is pretty good. I ran a scan on the machine and it looks like the max capacity of memory is 32 gigs, which is not that bad. It has two banks. Now for storage, you have multiple choices. Uh, you got a one terabyte 5400 RPM or 500 gig 7200 RPM SATA drives. And you could do a 512 solid state drive. They also give you the option to do a mix. I would definitely go with the mix. Do the primary hard drive as a solid state drive and the second hard drive would be your raw storage. Now the model that I've been reviewing for you guys, if I right click on the taskbar and go to task manager and I go inside performance, I'm going to expand the task manager a little bit. I'm gonna right click on the CPU, change the graph to logical processors. It has four cores, eight logical processors, making it a Intel quad core i5-8250U processor with a clock speed of 1.60. Now for memory, I had eight gigs. And for me, 8 gigs is enough for what I normally do each day, like check email, uh, use Adobe Premiere, Illustrator, Photoshop. I also did a little bit of OBS Studio uh, when I was capturing some gaming as well as streaming to Twitch.tv. And I was also able to use Visual Studios with no problem with 8 gigs. With the processor and the 8 gigs is not that bad. Now for hard drive space, I had the one with 256 gigs solid state drive. Uh, and the graphics card is an Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620. Now the ThinkPad E580 has a lot of ports and connections. If you have the laptop facing you, on your right hand side we have one micro SD card slot, one 2.0 USB port, and then we also have a Ethernet port. On your left hand side we have our audio combo jack which allows you to hook up your mic and headphone. And next to that we have two 3.1 USB ports. Now one of the 3.1 USB port is set up to always on charging. Then we have one HDMI port and last but not least our type C port which allows you to hook up your power adapter but also hook up an external monitor. So let's talk about the keyboard and trackpad on the E580. Now the E580 comes with a full keyboard layout. That basically means it comes with a number pad with an enter key. Now one of the things I do not like about the keyboard layout is it is not backlit. I do love the feeling of the keys between my fingertips. Uh, I did find myself not making a lot of mistakes and the reason why is the distance between each key. Now if you want to know the distance, if you take a nickel and a dime, uh, that's the space that you're going to have between each key. That's great. The power button is located in the upper right corner of the keyboard. 
And on the lower right corner of the keyboard, you're going to see your fingerprint scanner. I like when ThinkPads have a fingerprint scanner because it adds an additional security layer to log into the machine. On the E580, you're also going to have the issue with the function key and the control key. The way that Lenovo solves that issue is they provide you with an application called Vantage. If you open it up and go inside hardware settings and within here you click on input and once it loads up you go all the way to the bottom right here this allows you to swap your function key and the control key the reason why they give you this option is because normally the function key is between the control key and the windows key so for me that's kinda like a design flaw with the thing pads but they do give you the option to swap it within the Vantage application. Now for the trackpad I did not have any issues with the trackpad that is a huge plus for me I've been doing a lot of ThinkPad reviews for you guys and the E580 no problems with the trackpad at all. The material is made out of the same material as the body which makes it super smooth very responsive, no issues. If you take three nickels, one penny, and one dime, that is the distance that you're going to get on the trackpad. So we just finished talking about the keyboard and trackpad on the E580. So let's talk about the display. I was lucky enough to get the beautiful 15.6 Full HD IPS anti-glare display model. Now with the resolution, it is 1920 by 1080, and this is the brightest that it could go. Uh, if I go all the way up, the brightest, and this is the lowest. Awesome. I can still see the background and all the icons. And let's go back up. I believe for NYX, it's around 200 to 250. Now, at the very top of the display, you're going to get a 720p HD webcam, fixed focus with 30 frames per second. Now, this webcam is great when you're doing Zoom calls and Skype calls. Okay, so let's conclude our review on the E580. So, let's talk about the battery. Uh, I like to run PC Mark 8 for my battery test. I like to run it three times. And on the fourth battery test, I like to take it home and just use it like a regular user. So let's open up our report. And the first test, it took around four hours and 12 minutes. On the second test with PC Mark 8, three hours and 21 minutes. And on the last test, it took around four hours and seven minutes. Now in between each test, I like to charge the battery to 100%. And eventually I like to record how long it takes for the battery to do a full charge. For the E580, it took around two hours and 15 minutes. Now to me, that's a pretty long time due to the fact that it does have a type C connection. I was assuming it would give me a fast charge, but for two hours and 15 minutes, uh, that's pretty long. Now for my fourth test, using it at home, I was super surprised. Uh, I was able to use the laptop for two days, uh, a grand total of six hours and 40 minutes, which is not that bad at all. When I was running the battery test, I did notice a lot of heating around this area, especially around the display. That's when I noticed that the vents are located right here. I was like, no, why? Uh, I do not like laptops with vents are located right here because all that heat is being pushed to the display. Uh, it would have been nice if the E580 had vents on the side, but it does not have that at all. All the ventilation, all that hot air is just pushing towards the display and just making this area right here around the keyboard extremely hot. I did notice that the E580 makes a lot of noise if you're not doing anything, and that's a big concern for me because if you're not using the laptop, why are you making these loud noise? Now for performance, the machine is capable of handling a lot with the specifications, with the processor and the memory and the hard drive. Uh, within Premiere, I was able to render a 500 megabyte video uh, in less than a minute. That's not that bad. I was also able to use OBS to capture and stream to Twitch.tv. That's great. Now the only problem that I had with the E580 within Adobe Premiere, and that's because of the graphics card, the Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620. For some reason, that card provides this problem with Adobe Premiere. It is a quick fix. You just have to render your stuff and view your stuff with software only and not GPU, 
Once you do that fix within your project settings, everything works with no problem. And that's it guys for my review on the ThinkPad E580. This laptop is great for students that are getting into high school or even college. And if you are a first time programmer or a developer, this laptop is great for you. It won't break the bank. Under $800, it's great. The only issues that I had on the E580 is the keyboard uh, is not backlit. The location of the vents, all that air, the hot air is going to go to the display. And the issue with Adobe Premiere, which is a quick fix, is not an E580 issue. It is an Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620 issue. And the quick fix is to change your project settings to software rather than GPU. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below. And i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.